Heike, heike, heike. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up sky spheres inside of Vinyan. So if you ever want to set up uh, backgrounds natively inside the Vinyan, like let's say um, you're using Spout Cam, which is a virtual cam using the Spout Capture, and let's say um, you want to send Vinyan directly as a virtual camera to Discord or Skype or uh, Zoom call, whatever the heck, and um, you want to have a background natively without the usage of OBS. Just an example. There are ways now you can add a background image. Um, now there are two methods to it, but I will show the newest method, which is the sky sphere. So you can basically be able to load different skies and all that. It's pretty nice, basically. So I'll show you how to basically do that. Now, um, and also, of course, I'll show you the alternative method if you want something like uh, how I set up my background here, because this uses a different method. But either way, we're going to go into nodes right here. And then we're going to go ahead and click on add new graph. Now, if there is an, um, if you want to add a sky sphere to a pre-existing graph, you may, um, depends on you. So you're going to go into callback nodes. You're going to scroll all the way down to other callbacks and select the hotkey button right here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into action nodes. And then you're going to click all the way down until you find the effects. And then you're going to click on Sky Sphere. After that, you're going to then connect these two together. Then you're going to load a sky image that you want, basically. So I'll go ahead and add this one. If you by any chance have a depth image, uh, whether it's AI generated or... Um, you can actually check out, like, there are sites, I believe, that can generate a depth map for you. Um, or if you are a master in Blender, you can actually also generate and bake a depth map as well, um, with Blender as well, if you know how to do it. Um, but of course, if you don't have one, it is no problem. You can go without. But that's if you want to add more depth to your skybox, basically. Um, now besides that, uh, you can go ahead and set up a hotkey here, or you can just right click and press on send signal. And boom, we got a sky. Now maybe, um, let's say you don't have a depth image right, but the sky seems way too big for you. Well, I would recommend decreasing the size of the depth multiplier to a smaller number. That way um, it can come off you know, smaller basically. But try not to make it too small though either, because the smaller the number, um, not that kind of number, let's say this one, um, basically it'll disappear, basically. So I'll show you, um, like, like this. Uh, I, I guess, um, you can make it smaller, but basically you'll start seeing the sphere shape here is what I'm meaning. Um, and you don't want that. I mean, unless you want to, I guess. But yeah, you can see how, like, it's just the smaller it gets, the more you'll actually see the sphere. Um, basically, it's a circle with... Or a, a circle. It's a sphere with uh, inverse normals, basically. That's pretty much how the sky sphere is made. In case you want to make your own sky sphere, like, as a prop or something. But honestly, sky spheres exist in Vinyan, so there's no need to make it yourself. But in case you're curious, yeah. This is just inverse stuff so yeah but either way um pretty much though um i would just recommend just keep the number uh a normal number i guess either way adjust how you want basically and of course you can adjust the depth max cap if you like if um but otherwise that's pretty much the main things i really touch um but yeah that's about it regarding the sky spheres and as a little bonus i will show you how i am able to um Oh yeah, fun fact too, uh, actually before anything, um, there's also a way, so in case you're wondering how the heck did I got the, the night color going for this sky, um, sky sphere basically, all I did was I just added, um, a direct light node, and I basically just connected and then just changed the color accordingly basically, so kinda like, let's say this I guess for instance, basically. Um, like I could set it to be red, so yeah, pretty much that's another way if you want to have like the lights be a bit more interactive, so yeah. Um, but either way though, um, now that that's taken care of, um, 
we can actually, in case you're wondering how the heck I did the background here, it's actually just a plain, a plain mesh. Because uh, the thing is, is that when I load this picture, right, this PNG on the sky sphere, it does not map properly. I could probably do some editing and make it work well and such, uh, but it just does not map properly and it just looks awkward. So if you have a background image that you want to put in Vignon natively, but the sky sphere doesn't work out for you, um, you're going to have to set up a Vignon prop for it. So this is basically like an example of my settings I have here. I set it to world and I change the settings and all that stuff. I would not recommend always face camera because it does move the mesh and um, it can get a little broken. Like, like I, you know, depending on the prop, you may want to have it there. But uh, for a background image, I wouldn't recommend because it'll always get displaced and it'll just look really awkward and probably be a little bit of a headache if you ask me. So... Yeah, and then just, just make sure you don't zoom out a lot, otherwise just disable it and you can basically just move around if you just want to do that. But either way though, I uh, just wanted to like quickly show you guys that, but either way, that's pretty much all for me um, regarding sky spheres and backgrounds basically. I hope that this was educational for you and I hope that you guys have lovely backgrounds inside Vignan. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, if you have any other questions about Vignan, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, about Vignan for you guys. Or if you have any tutorial requests, uh, please let me know in the comments below or you can message me in the social below. Um, I will also say Discord is trying to change your username so there may be an update regarding the Discord username. So be aware of that. But either way, have a lovely day everyone and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!